Thank you for joining us on the show today. Now, we have some guests with an unusual situation this morning. They are designing, and get this, a prototype travel machine, which not only is great for the environment, but also uses no fuel. Unfortunately, the two designers are having some trouble with calculations and are on the verge of losing their job. Shall we bring them in? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the first guest, Ricky. <laughs> now, you wrote in asking for some help. You and your partner cannot agree on some final calculations which are very important for this travel machine. Yes, I'm so fed up with the fact that Sam always does calculations in the order that is written down, not the order that we are supposed to follow. Well, I think it's time that we got Sam on the show to see what he has to say. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sam. Now, you understand why you're here, don't you? Yeah, Ricky keeps on messing up. It's not me who messes up! Well, luckily, the purpose of today's show is for you to both reach an agreement of how to do the calculations properly. And later, I have a very special guest who will be coming on the show to help you with just that. Is there anything you would like to say, Ricky? Yes, you have to do multiplication before you do any adding or subtracting. It doesn't matter what order the rules are in the question. Of course order matters. Important things always come first. If I was to ask you both, what is 3 times 2 plus 10, what would be your answers? Ricky? Multiplication first, and then addition. 3 times 2, which is 6, add 10, 16. I agree, the answer is 16. Well, you both seem to agree on that one. Ricky actually got it right for once. Let's try another one. 2 plus 3 times 5. What is the answer? Sam? Addition was before multiplication, so the answer is 25. That is so wrong! You did multiplication first in the last question, so always do multiplication first. 3 times 5 is 15. 15 add 2 is 17. The answer is 17. But multiplication wasn't first in that question. Addition was. Why does this mess up your head? It is simple. Just do brackets, indices, division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. Just remember, big maths. My head. You didn't figure out 2 was a prime number until yesterday. At least I knew that one isn't a prime number. I think you both need to sit back down in your chairs and remember why we are here today. We are here to sort out your differences on these calculations. Let's try one more question. If I ask you both, what is 4 plus 6 divided by 2, what would be your answers? Division. Division is first because it is the opposite of multiplication. 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 3 add 4 is 7. The answer is 7. That's wrong. Ad addition was first in that question, then division. The answer is 5. You need to sort your life out, mate. The answer is 7. I'm tired of you blaming me for your dysfunction and low self-esteem. I think it's time to bring on our special guests now. <laughs> Gentlemen, if you could please take your seats. Hello, Dr. Member, and thank you very much for being on the show with us today. Hello? Hello? Oh, as I was saying, thank you very much for being on the show with us today. Now, did you know this is the first time we've ever had a mathematician on the show? How are you? Time, the fourth dimension, is only assumed to be linear. Of course, of course. Of course. Now, you have agreed to help these two gentlemen with the order of their calculations. The order of operations? Yes, that is very critical. It is useless to do any calculations without following the rules. There just isn't a correct answer unless the rules are followed. 
Yes. Um, anyway, so these two gentlemen, we asked them the question, what is four plus six divided by two? And they came up with two separate answers. Two answers? Two answers, but that's impossible. Well, we know. Um, what is the answer? I shall use my math rule book to determine the correct answer. Uh, I have it! The answer is here. Seven. It's five. I know it's five. The order of operations can easily be remembered as bid mass. You do brackets, indices, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction in that order. Um... Just so the viewers at home know, what are indices? Ah, yes, indices. Now, how do you explain that to a... Uh, a television presenter? If I did a number raised to a power, like, too cute, I would have to work that out, I'd have to do two times two times two, which is eight. So if you have to do 2 cubed minus 5, I guess you would do 2 cubed, which is... 8! Eight. Eight. And then you would take off the 5, which is 3. Is that correct, Dr. Number? Dr. Dr. Number. Number? Ah, yes! The order of operations. Bid mass is an easy way to remember the order of the rules. For example, if, if you had to do 10 minus 6, Divided by three, first you would do... Division. division. Yes. Six divided by three. Which is two. two. It says you have to do the division bit first. Then you would do the subtraction. Ten minus two, which is eight. My maths rule book says the answer is eight. I shall just check those workings out. Brackets, indices, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. That makes sense. I know, bid mass makes doing calculations much easier. So if we did the equation 4 plus 6 divided by 2, I'd have to do 6 divided by 2, which is 3, and then 4 plus 3, which is 7. I understand bid mass. If we just remember brackets, indices, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction, we will be able to build a prototype. Thank you for your help today. We'll be able to get on with our invention now. Well, that's what today's show has been all about. I know the name of a good psychologist, if you need one. Thank you very much for joining us on the show today. Tomorrow, we will be discussing whether you need a psychologist or a psychiatrist. <laughs>